lines are so long, they did let us do that. Yeah, that was really that hard. the people in the line are still getting, you know, like there's a cutoff on the line. But, you know, everybody to this point, okay, you still get the sales price. Yeah. So we've had that happen on clothes especially, which is really a good deal. Also, shop ahead. This especially um, is if you're working online, <laughs> which yeah. may, may have to do with more Cyber Monday, but who knows if it's Black Friday. Is for example, if you're let's just say Amazon, yeah. or even Best Buy, or Target, or Walmart, or Bloomingdale's, or Macy's, is um, you know you have your online <coughs> accounts. You can go ahead and put them in your cart. You've already yeah. done your shopping. Just don't pay for it. Keep your cart there, yeah. and then when Black Friday hits, go online to yeah. see if it went on sale. Yeah. So it's just that it's actually we we can tell you that that is being done more and more because we found out that the. Uh, the young mobile are basically, they're, they're putting the stuff in the carts and then checking with other people that they know and if they tell them where they can get a better deal, guess what, they do. Mm -hmm. They sort of walk off and leave what they've done and go to the next place with a better deal. Mm -hmm. uh, shop in pairs, and I say minimally, and this is important, especially for Black Friday because someone can be wait, parking the car uh -huh. or somebody can be waiting in line. Yeah, it's all, it's, uh, it's like I said, basically that has been traditional. Like I said, mm -hmm. my mom would put me in line 70 years ago, and it's the same thing today. You go, somebody sits there and holds that spot in the line, and then you, you know, because they, and then you sit there and look, right, and then, there's only six people in front of me, and all of a sudden that six people turns into 50 because they've got all these people with them. Mm -hmm. So don't think that just because a line is short in front of you, that it's short in front of you. Yeah. Also, I say bring cash. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> and, and the reason I say bring cash is sometimes there are separate lines for people that bring cash versus people that have credit cards. Yeah. And the cash line is usually pretty short. Yeah. So depending on what you're going to buy and how much cash you have available, um, you may want to bring some cash to help yeah. save yourself some time. Also, make certain if you have a company credit card that the, I mean, that's for the, the business credit card that they will actually accept the business credit card for the merchandise you're trying to buy. Yeah, that because some good. of them are non, some of them are, you know, uh, like the like American Express card may not be able to use. Like, uh, for instance, you've got Joe Blow's credit card. Well, I'm sorry, this is, you know, this is only a Visa card sale. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll actually have cards that are specifically targeted to something. Well, if you've got a Visa card, you can get this sale price if you do oh. what you can. Yeah. yeah, that's a neat little thing they're doing nowadays. Yeah, so actually, yeah, you check, check those um, online stuff beforehand. Or your pro your credit card statements or online. Um, also, bring your smartphone. Yeah. And a lot of people are aware of those QR codes which you, you scan, you go up to there, and it tells you, oh, what more information about the product. Yeah. Uh, tells but, you about the product. But the problem is, is that sometimes they do not tell you where the other merchandise is cheaper. Oh, yeah, because sometimes they'll tell you it's available at other stores and they'll tell you how much it is. But we've also experienced where they block it. They block it in the store. They block you finding anything out that basically it's on their router in the store only and nowhere else. So, you know, it's sort of, you know, the system is supposed to be across the board. But they'll put a thing out to keep you from checking anywhere else but in their own store. Yeah, and you put it up there and it'll say that it's available in the store and sometimes it won't tell you the price. Yeah. And it won't give you a full description because that way then you can't price match it to all these other places. Yeah. 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 And, um, and oh, here you know, we got next one. Um, we got also beware store brands. Why? Well, because a store brand may look like a good deal. And it's not as good as the same brand under the non-store label. Ah. Store brands, they got store brands are generally produced at a lower cost. It can be exactly because we we're talking. All they do is they take, uh, they go to the same product. Oh, oh, they said Taiwan is turning out all the same stuff. Mm -hmm. They're just putting other, they're, you know, they're putting other people's names on them. But Taiwan is turning out for this company, this company, this company, and some are cheaper than the others for obvious reasons, folks. A store brand could actually be the best product you can buy on a Black Friday sale, and it could also be the worst product you can buy. You don't know. This is where it pays to know your product. Yeah. Yeah. I know. 
Can you believe it? I know. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's like, see, I mean, Black Friday, Black Friday is it's really kind of, it's called sport shopping. Yeah, it is. It is a, it really is. A, a Black Friday itself is an action sport because you're pushing people. You know, hey, that, 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 that thing over there is mine. I, mm -hmm. you know, I had my eyes on it. We didn't pick it up. Well, I, I had, I was waiting here, asked the salesperson, he was getting the information. And then the poor salesperson becomes a referee. Mm -hmm. Because that's what happens too. You should be informed because if you have to ask a salesperson, by the time you get a response, you can lose the item. Yep. Because it is who put it is there it is who physically has their hands on the product. If in doubt, uh, yeah. If you are not certain, carry it around. Yeah, you're always better off because I mean we went into places and I've 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 carried the stuff around while she's trying to get the information and then if it doesn't work then she's yeah, she's heading to get another one and I'm putting that one back. That's that's why you do tag team shopping. Mm -hmm. We've been tag team shopping for a long time. It does make a difference. I know. Can you believe it's almost Black Friday again? It's yeah. Almost. Shopping season. Yeah, we're we'll talking <laughs> another two weeks. There's two weeks from a couple of days, a little over two, 14, 15 days of while from this time we're doing this one. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll tell you how Black Friday went. We don't necessarily buy things on Black Friday that other people would buy. We sort of look for the, the weird and the quirky in a lot well, of cases. Yeah, you know, actually, that's true because um, there's some things that we know are always priced well for Black Friday. Yeah. One is um, your computer cards, you know, yeah. for, for storage, yeah. your uh, compact flash, SD cards, micro SD cards, it's, it's probably one of the best times of the year to buy them. The batteries. Batteries? You know, batteries? Recharge, but rechargeable batteries tend to go down at that time oh. because they're, uh, they're trying to get, okay, they're trying to, have, okay, people are buying the stuff and they don't have any batteries for the things. A lot of, uh, okay, uh, batteries are a big deal. Let's see, TVs usually. Yeah. There's always some deals on computers. Yeah, and uh, and cameras. computer accessories. Oh, cameras. Cameras. Uh, games, games, uh, games, and game accessories. Basically everything, huh? Yeah. Because they're all trying to get you to buy stuff. Yeah. But um, the um, clothes are really a big deal. Mm -hmm. Clothes really, if. Uh, that they'll, they'll they'll have Black Friday uh, uh, clothes sales on on because uh, uh, we've done it on big names have basically put their stuff on sale. Um, uh, Versace is going to do H and M. That's right. When are they doing it? Uh, it's their Black Friday thing. I, I think they're doing it before Black Friday, but they did here last night. Oh, Versace right. is going to have a special. That's right. Uh, yeah. I just remember that. Yeah. So you can get name brands and clothes. At a better Is that like year. Target being at Maso the Masoni for Target? Yeah. Hopefully they will not follow the same mistakes. Well, hopefully they actually have the merchandise. But I think since Versace is actually talking about doing something with H&M that they will, unlike, they, they think they learned from Target, but Target really didn't have the merchandise. Yeah, I think they it was never meant, it was an advertising thing, and people took, okay, well, we're going to get a $3,000 dress for $5. It was a, uh, it was a, uh, it was something that went too far, but we think that Versace's and others, from what we understand, are going to hit the clothing, the, the big, the big things with clothing is going to be that day, because uh, because the department stores don't have anything to sell other than clothing for the most part, you know, like mm -hmm. Macy's, Blue and Dells, mm -hmm. so uh, it'd, be, it'd be one of these things like the. You know, Bridezilla is trying to grab the, the thing. It will the <laughs> because people will be buying clothes that don't fit. So just so that they can get their hand on something that had like a, um, you know, like a Burberry jacket that cost thirteen hundred dollars for forty bucks. Mm -hmm. And those are things basically that are okay. A lot of what you're going to see is going to be clear out to the stores for the next season, but. They're going to really discount them down low. But not all of them are. Sometimes you can really find some jewels because you're just trying to break people. And jewelry. Yeah. They come with some great looking stuff for Black Friday. I mean, she's actually brought a box of some of the stuff, folks. Literally boxes of jewelry home. You know, uh, I did? Yeah, three, four hundred dollar necklaces and sets. Oh, for, well, those were just. I just bought a good sell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but those are the things that can be available. So, um, no, that's just from my, I generally don't do this, but I've been actually been at this longer than her. 
I, I go back before it was Black Friday. I just go with the, you know, when it was called the day after Thanksgiving sales. So they didn't have computers when I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 we didn't have electricity and telephones. Uh -huh. We didn't have indoor plumbing. Uh -huh. And I, that's talking. We're talking. I'm, uh, I, we're talking. I'm, um, I'm a half hour's walk from this place, and we did not have indoor plumbing until my father put it in the house. And my my, my aunt Corcoran, who lived in Inglewood, uh, which is basically not that far in that direction. She, you know, she was the first woman to have indoor plumbing in her house. Until that time, they were using an outhouse and milk containers in the house to use for a pot. And they were all girls, folks. So it says, you know, Mom, when's Dad going to? Then we'll talk to your, you know, your, uh, you know, your cousin. And then I talked to my father. He said, when are you going to put indoor plumbing in for us? They said, as soon as your dad pays me. <laughs> That's when they got the indoor plumbing, but no. Uh, but we, we did it the hard way. Now you got computers, you got cars, got, you know, the, but we didn't, we, we would basically, um, because the, we were, we, we would walk over to the big shopping, you know, to the buildings because everything was built closer to where the shopping was when I was younger than it is today. So, mm -hmm. but she's the expert on the sell stuff. I'm the expert on just, I, I tag along. People, hey, who's the old guy? I once wasn't an old guy. I was just a young person tagging along. Oh, really? I had lots of females in my family. I'm the only. I, I, there's only three males in my blood. He's, he's a good chopper. Oh no, I know what I know what works for her. I know what we've been looking for, so it helps. It, that's another thing. If you're going to tag team shop, try to tag team shop with somebody that knows what the other person really wants and is interested in. And, and actually, you know what, the tag team shop also helps with people that like to go to the same departments. Yeah. <laughs> if you go with somebody that always wants to be in the kids' department and you don't, yeah, yeah, you're, you're going to be frustrated. That's right. Yeah. It's just uh, because it happens all the time. We go in and the guys will not go with their girlfriends or their sisters or mothers or wives. And you have the female, well, what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. Then you have to ask them what it's for. And it happens on um, Black Friday because, uh, we, because sometimes we picked up some real nice things and while she's changing because the husband or whatever it is doesn't come along with her, the other female, you think this is hot and sexy? Mm -hmm. Because I'm buying it for my husband as a treat and basically she's wearing Argyle socks, uh, you know, uh, workout outfit underneath it. And I'm telling the truth here. <laughs> yeah. But actually, you, you tend to have people to get less mad at you <laughs> on those days when, you know, you know <laughs> they tell them the truth. Well, because they, they're not one that will spend the money then. Mm -hmm. That's the trick. You're better off telling somebody to something. Uh, the other day we told a woman that basically this looks better with your eyes than the other stuff did. Mm -hmm. And so she put everything. That's why she thought she needed somebody to tell her. Can't shop by yourself and get what is right most of the time. So tag teaming really works well, but you got to have somebody that comes with you that one is going to tell you the truth, and two, he's not going to pick out things that he knows you can't afford. It's close to the female. If you're with a female, she's never going to tell you the truth. She's going to tell you, oh, you really look good in that outfit. Mm -hmm. And then she goes, ah. Or, you know, or, or somebody that knows nothing about you going into the computer department or the camera department, you'd better be with somebody that knows computers and cameras. Because if they don't know, because there's no salespeople, a salesperson... Yeah, don't expect to get help from the salespeople. They're busy working. That's right. <laughs> they're, busy. They're, they're basically trying to do, they're trying to seal the sales on the, on the big ticket items. Because a lot of them are, are that is, a, those holiday times is when they go from straight sales to commission sales. And they're trying to pick up the money on commission sales. The people that are added on are almost always for commission sales. Well, and for a lot of the retail stores, the fourth quarter is what makes their year. They have a bad fourth quarter, they have a bad year. Yeah. So, but yeah. I mean, I can't think of anything else on this one at the moment. No, but, you know, armed with this information, if you plan ahead and, and take consideration of the things that we mentioned, you're going to have much more success yeah. in getting your deals or the deals you want for Black Friday. And we will... We will put these, by the time you hear it, these tips will be put up on our website and probably as a, on YouTube, on Yahoo, Yahoo also, as an article about 
<clears throat> Black Friday tips. She'll expand upon what we what we verbalize. She'll put it down in writing. Yeah. <clears throat> so until next time, this is Old Kim. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.mondaybubbles.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. And follow all of our holiday programming because we have a lot done just for the holidays and just for you to make it a much happier and fun holiday season.